y'all hey welcome or welcome back to tiffany with purpose where i provide faith-based content with purpose and inspire you to do the same i always share according to what the lord places on my heart and today this is a prophetic word concerning the dream that i shared with you guys in the last video so if you did not go see that watch it for the dream because i'm about to break it down um i expressed earlier I, what i posted earlier was because there was an urgency because it was connected to um, something that someone else had posted. However, I sat with this thing um, some more today and I realized it was a bit more involved than I realized at first. So in the dream, some key parts was that I realized that it's time for me to move. Basically, I hear what in the dream, what another prophetic person hears and I know for myself that it's time to move um and so I prepare to move again even though like in real life I've recently like just moved in the dream I'm preparing like I know that it's again like I just did this so it's happening again um so I'm preparing to move some key points one of my old teachers is in a wedding dress there are children gathered like around her as she's singing and there's a Barbie in my hand that song um, being Lord prepare me and let's just get into it so the teacher part what's also important about this particular teacher not only was she my teacher but I worked with her later in life like I I'm a teacher so when I became a teacher we then worked together um, so even that relationship is pointing towards, I'm thinking right now, I didn't prepare these, but um, Jesus says some things about like, you know, a student is not better than the teacher, but to be like the teacher is sufficient. Ugh. Something like that. I'm, I'm going to put it up here whenever I get back to uh, watching this over. Um, but the scripture that I received for this particular part, this is Isaiah 30 verses 18 through 22 it says therefore the lord waits to be gracious to you and therefore he exalts himself to show mercy to you for the lord is a god of justice blessed are all those who wait for him for a people shall dwell in Zion, in Jerusalem. You shall weep no more. He will surely be gracious to you at the hand of your, at the sound of your cry. As soon as he hears it, he answers you. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet your teacher will not hide himself any more. But your eyes shall see your teacher, and your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, "This is the way. Walk in it. When you turn to the right, or when you turn to the left." Then you will defile your carved idols overlaid with silver and your gold-plated metal images. You will scatter them as unclean things. You will say to them, be gone. The Lord is saying, he's coming, he's answering you. And also to listen to his instruction. She was singing, Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. And with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary just for you. That song is saying, or she was expressing in the song, open yourself to receive me. Lord, prepare me. Do the work in me that is necessary so that you can dwell fully in me and the lord is saying this listen to those instructions and in this as he is coming and he is answering you you have waited you have been through things on purpose for his glory so that you could be perfected um by him you've eaten the bread of adversity you've taken the water of affliction and that that is part of this walk being a child of Christ, so much has to be broken off of us because we are shaped and molded in the world. We are shaped and molded in our um, whatever we learn from the environments that we are raised in. And those things have to be shed. They have to be broken. Um, and we have to be refined and be made new. And that requires going through some heat sometimes. That requires battles. That requires storms. And all of those things, it is part of it. But you come out beautiful you come out strong you come out reflecting the image of the father when you trust him and when you're um leaning on him while you're going through it um 
that last part. You're getting rid of everything. Every single thing that you have put before the Lord, you are putting it aside. Every single thing that you have put before the Lord has been put aside. And it's like in a no-nonsense way. I'm for the Lord and that's it and that's all. That's all that there is. There isn't any more. If he said it, I'll do it. If he said no, what he loves, I love. What he hates, I hate. And that's, that's that on that. Like there's no other way around it. I am made in his image right he set me apart as a holy nation to himself and so i'm going to bear his name as such all right i put this in the last video revelation 19 6 through 9 then i heard what seemed to be the voice of a great multitude like the roar of many waters and like the sound of many peals of thunder crying out hallelujah for the lord our god almighty reigns let us rejoice and exult and give him the glory for the marriage of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready it was granted to clothe herself with fine linen bright and pure for the fine linen is the righteous deeds of the saints and the angel said to me write this blessed are those who are invited to the marriage supper of the lamb and then he said to me these are the true words of god okay these are the true words of god that his bride has made himself ready those that are that have made yourselves ready um that have been through the wilderness seasons that have stood as the lord has told you to stand you've um been tested and tried and you've been through the fire and you've been made new the old is gone and you have been made new you've made yourself ready and the lord has granted you to wear new clothes new clothes that represent the righteous deeds of the saints the righteous deeds of the saints being those deeds that are after his spirit that you are exuding love that you are exuding joy peace like you're overflowing with these things so much so that it is spilling over into other people's lives and obviously not limited to the things that i just mentioned but all the things of the spirit and whatever the lord has poured into you you know in your individual life concerning whatever it is that he has prepared and equipped for you to do um you've been operating in those things matthew 25 9 through 11 this is concerning the parable of the ten virgins the five that were ready with their lamps with the extra oil and the other five who were not and i'm coming in into the middle of this but that would be matthew 25 verses 1 through 11 but i'm starting at 9 but the wise answer saying since there will not be enough for us and for you go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves and while they were going to buy the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast and the door was shut afterward the other virgins came also saying lord lord open to us but he answered truly i say to you i do not know you he did not know them because they were not ready they were not ready because they didn't know the voice of the lord they didn't heed to wisdom wisdom is a spirit of god i've been this is actually it's all cooking now i've been studying wisdom today because i'm working on a little something something um a devotional that should be coming out soon do not hold me to how long the soon is i'm hoping for may but we'll see what happens but specifically how wisdom is to know what is coming and to prepare for it this is what i've been meditating on all day to know what is coming and to order your steps today in preparation for those things they did not heed to wisdom therefore they did not know the lord they did not recognize their his voice and they had not listened so he's saying i don't know you we are not in communication together i speak you do not listen we you know there's no intimacy here and that's what the lord was saying and that's what he's saying to us those who are heeding the voice of the lord you are welcome in now specifically about how the children were gathered to her as she was singing and i began to sing along and i had the barbie in my hand me holding a toy mark of uh, chapter 10 verses 13 through 15 and they were bringing children to him that he might touch them and the disciples rebuked them but when jesus saw it he was indignant and said to them let the children come to me do not hinder them for to such belongs the kingdom of god truly i say to you whoever does not receive the kingdom of god like a child shall not enter it what is the kingdom of god 
The kingdom of God is his righteousness. It is joy. It is peace. We find that in, give me one second, because that's just a little bit. You went out, let me get us a verse. Because I do at least know that that's written down in my book somewhere, Chad. Hold on, hold on. Here it goes. Um, Romans 14, 17 through 18. It says, for the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Uh, for he who serves in this way serves Christ. Oh, for he who in this way serves Christ is acceptable to God and approved by men. The kingdom of God is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The kingdom of God is living, led by his spirit, is walking by his spirit, walking by faith and not by sight literally a walking in the fruit of the spirit this is what he's telling us to receive and if we don't receive if we don't come to him like a child expecting that he knows best expecting that he has all the answers expecting to receive wisdom and understanding and counsel from him expecting to receive instruction from him then we can't receive the kingdom these were the scriptures that were associated with that dream. And I just wanted to say a couple things. Let me also bring this up. So as I was studying this out, the Lord reminded me of an encounter that I had with the Holy Spirit back in October um, during worship. There was a moment where I am having a vision and I am brought to this door. This door opens in front of me. It's a huge door. It opens in front of me. And I feel wind just come and kind of scoop me up. And it pulls me over the threshold of the door. And immediately shuts behind me. And there's a whole party and celebration on the other side. And I was like, oh my gosh, wow. So I went to find this dream. Or sorry, this encounter. And here's some of the things that I wrote on this day. This was October 3rd, 2023. Um, I had written, the Holy Spirit has been speaking. He says his glory is on the earth and he's bringing righteous judgment and miracles. Rejoice, dance, sing, and praise. For the Lion of Judah is roaring on the earth and he is vindicating his children. I wrote, the weight is different now. After that, I had a vision and I saw the crowned lion of Judah sealed on my heart. And from that, I was given the scripture, um, Jeremiah 31, 31. Behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Um, this is, sorry, 31 through 34. Not like the covenant which I made with their fathers in the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. My covenant which they broke, although I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. But this is the covenant which I will make with the house of Israel after those days, declares the Lord. I will put my law within them, and on their heart I will write it, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. They will not teach again, each man his neighbor, and each man his brother saying, know the Lord, for they will all know me from the least of them to the greatest of them, declares the Lord, for I will forgive their iniquity and their sin. I will remember no more. We right now, y'all, are in a, we are in the middle of a move of God. Another scripture that I wrote on the same day that I logged, Hosea chapter six, verse two after two days, he will revive us. On the third day, he will restore us that we may live in his presence. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge him. As surely as the sun rises, he will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains and like the spring rains that water the earth. I don't think it's a coincidence that I've been brought back to this the same week that we are celebrating the resurrection of Christ. We are about to see many things in our lives resurrected in this hour. And I think that that concerns whatever personal promises the Lord has made to you. But I want everyone to know that this is much bigger than even that. Even right now, I'm thinking about um, what the Lord shared with, shared with me about the name Lily the other day. That 
we have to be open to receive his spirit. He's about to pour out his spirit, y'all, in a way that I don't, I don't, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? I, are we ready? I don't know. I want us to be mindful in making sure that our gazes are on the Lord. He promised whatever he promised, but those things are just a plus. He has a mighty work that he has prepared for each of us to do. And he is equipping us. He's empowering us by his spirit to do those things. Also today, it's just so many full circles today. Um, I was grading my students journals and I had assigned them a little study on the Holy Spirit where they were required to read Genesis chapter 41, Exodus 35, like verses 30 through 35, and then also Isaiah 61 verses 1 through 4 in order to see how the Lord empowered people by his spirit. What were the things that he caused, he tasked them to do and how were they similar? Well, in Genesis, that's where we see that Joseph is empowered by God's spirit to one, interpret dreams, but also two, he was given discernment and wisdom that would, wisdom, that would help the people prepare for the famine that was to come. The Lord gave him discernment and wisdom to one, discern the Lord's voice, to discern the seasons and to receive strategy and, and instruction for how to be um, preserved during the time of famine. In that particular uh, passage in Exodus, there were specific people that the Lord had empowered by his spirit with all sorts of wisdom and um, understanding and skills and art in building things um, so that they could do the work to build what the Lord had given Moses vision for to build it exactly as the Lord described it um, and also empowered them or equipped them to teach others in those same skills. And in Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 61, that the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all who mourn, to grant those who mourn in Zion, to give them a beautiful headdress instead of ashes, the oil of gladness instead of mourning, the garment of praise instead of a faint spirit, that they may be called oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. The Lord empowers people by his spirit to one, help preserve us during time of judgment. The lamb was being judged, but in Joseph's time, because of how the Lord had equipped him, he was able to preserve the people during the time of famine, which also uh, made way for the Lord to bring the people of Israel into the land of Egypt at that time. In Exodus, that they were able to build God's temple according to God's design for it, according to God's plan, according to God's, um, what am I saying? How the Lord saw it. They were able to do it exactly how the Lord saw it and described it, to build his temple. And in Isaiah, to build his kingdom, to free the people, to bring together that holy nation, to tear down those strongholds, and to restore joy to the people through his spirit, by his spirit, okay? Not in our own hands. But what I believe is happening now is that the Lord is about to equip us by his spirit to do the things that he has, um, you know, prepared, predestined for us to do. It's bigger than whatever you're expecting. It's much bigger than whatever you're expecting. Take some time to reflect on who the Lord has told you that you are. Um, and if you're not clear on that, then begin to seek him for that and ask for that clarity. Who is it that you have called me to be and what is it that you need me to do? Um, sit with him on those things and whatever he's been telling you for a long time, you haven't seen it come to pass yet be prepared it's coming and um yeah there's no way around it <laughs> i kind of am in 
uh, because I see it, but it's too big for me to see at the same time. Like I, I see um, kind of the presence of it, but I can't see the exactness of it because it's too big. It's too big. Um, but yeah, be prepared to receive gifts from the Holy Spirit and for your life to be turned around and upside down, but in the absolute best way. All right, you guys take this to the Lord. Really sit with him. If you know that um, you are in a space where maybe you've fallen out of alignment, get back in alignment. Repent, repent, bear fruit in keeping with repentance. Um, go to the Lord with your full heart, turn it over to him and set your feet on his path um, and be serious about it and not not to think that you have to do that in your own strength but be serious about it because you desire to please him because you desire to show him that you love him um and not that it's going to change or affect at all the way that he feels about you he loves you anyway he loves you when you're failing he loves you when you're struggling um but make a decision for yourself tell that flesh to get itself together because we belong to the lord command your flesh okay this is territory of God the Father, Jesus Christ, our Savior, and the Holy Spirit. This is a temple unto the Lord. You got to tell your flesh that sometimes, you know, get it, get it together, get it in check. But anyway, um, yes, sit with the Lord on it. <laughs> Do what you know needs to, to be done and take some time to consecrate yourself to him in order to receive kind of fresh instruction fresh revelation over your present and over your future and allow him to lead god and direct you in this hour you guys be great in the strength of the lord until next time